But this is not all just a cakewalk for Russia. Militarily, they have overwhelming superiority, but they'll pay a stiff price immediately, near term, medium term, and long term if they do it. You wait, what? What the fuck he just say? For Russia. Militarily, they have overwhelming superiority, but they'll pay a stiff price immediately, near term, medium term, and long term if they do it. That's what I thought he said. For those who didn't catch that, he just made a bluff to Russia with our lives. And by us, I mean American citizens. He literally just said, yeah, I know Russia got some big shit, hypersonic missiles, that we probably not going to be able to shoot down in time if they were to launch it off a coast in one of their submarines. It's besides the point. Because if they were to do it, they wouldn't have money to sustain a society. I don't give a damn about none of that. We ain't going to be here to see none of them. Vladimir Putin going to blow this bitch to smithereens. This nigga go... He going to annihilate us. And if you don't know who Vladimir Putin is, this is him. Look at this. This is Putin. Does he look like he give a damn about what Joe talking about? He would blow some shit up. Look at his eyes. Look at you. You can't trust nobody to shave their whole face along with their mustache. This motherfucker will bite you. Keep playing with him. I really don't understand why Americans think that we can't be touched. I really don't. We are in some serious times. You know, you got Russia and other head honchos of the world that are telling their people, you know, you should prepare for war. Shit could get ugly in these next few days, next few months, next few years. But in America, everything's quiet. Everything is going on as normal. As if World War Three isn't fitting to break the fuck off at any moment. Did y'all not see that underwater volcano that just blew up at the beginning of the week? be a real shame if one of those underwater volcanoes blew up in a city near you better tighten up